All right, so we see that the Nimbus is warmed up. This is what we're going to take a look at first. What do we do from here? First thing we do is put on our personal protection equipment. We're playing with dry ice. This is a very cold product, so always wear gloves when handling it. When you transport it, use a cooler without a sealed locking lid. Uh, the reason for that is as this evaporates, it's going to build pressure and it could make that cooler explode. Great, great tips for if sure. If you hold this in your hand, it's going to burn you. It will give you frostbite mm -hmm. in a relatively short amount of time. And I highly recommend that you do not store your scoop in the cooler with the dry ice because it's going to become like negative 110 degrees and freeze you also. Safety first. We have our bucket in the up position. Now you also, with the Nimbus, you want to do this right before you're going to use it. This is going to take 10 pounds of dry ice with my very tiny scoop that I have. The reason you don't want to fill this up and leave it set is that hot water and the hot air surrounding everything is going to make this disappear and when you go to use the effect you're not going to be have the effect you want you won't get the freight train of steam coming out because we are getting a little bit of a preview here and that's going <laughs> to yes, happen we as well as you're loading it up it's just because again physics the, the the environment inside the machine is hot so of course you're getting a little bit of that pre effect look happening there now we're using pellets here. You might not have pellets in your area. You might have to buy blocks. Uh, if you have to buy a block, break it up with a mallet before you put it in the machine. You want to increase the surface area of the dry ice so you get a better effect. So All right, let's take a look. Here we go. In three, two, one, blast off. You can oh, yeah. see an intense discharge coming out. I wish I had a camera right here, Jeff, because it's going almost to the waist of our camera crew yeah. here. And this is going to run for about six minutes. If I were to raise the lever into the low position, you can see how it drops the output. This will make the effect run longer, but I like that initial blast. Sure. And if I go back down again, it submerges it better, and I'm now back at high again. So thick, billowy, Everything's staying low. As you said, about as high as it rises is we're getting to about shin length over there. Um, but even so, I mean, creates a whole blanket of, of this effect that you feel like you can almost lay on. It's beautiful. This is dancing on a cloud. So that is a look at what the Nimbus looks like when it fires off. How do we fill up this cumulus here? This is a little bit different, but not difficult at all. We need to take off our cover. Now this machine can be ran with the cover on because it has vents in the side. Makes the unit a little bit more attractive. The first thing I want to do is get some power to it. and open up my distilled water port. Inside here there's a line. Now this machine holds two gallons of distilled water. There are two separate tanks in here at two different levels. You can turn the machine on right now if you wanted to. I know the machine takes at least two gallons, so I'm just going to put a whole gallon in right now. And the machine's not filled up, but if you look in the container you're going to think, it is full because it's up to the line. Once I turn on the unit, the pump is going to start taking that distilled water out of the front chamber and moving it into the back into the actual chamber that produces the output of this machine. You can hear it firing up right now and starting to pump water. And if you look in the machine, you'll see that the water level drops and then a waterfall starts to form between the two tanks. So I want to add my second gallon until we go all the way up to that fill line. But we don't want to overfill it. And sometimes we have to wait until the water gets going here. If you overfill this machine, there is an overflow port on the back that will put water on your floor. So it's very, you need to just watch how much water you put into this machine. We shut the lid, and we have our fog container. 
for this demonstration, we're going to be using the new LLG. And we're just going to fill up this container. I'll only fill it up a quarter of the way for demonstration purposes. That's all I need. Actually, at your gigs, it, unless you're running this thing continuous, you're not going to need to fill up that fog fluid container all the way. Mm -hmm. I'd say no more than half for your average wedding mm -hmm. uh, theatrical performances. Now that's a completely different ball game. You show producers, <laughs> you'll have to figure that out on your own. And in that case, it's probably best just to fill everything up all the way mm -hmm. and, and do your production. Now this unit's warming up. So we'll give it about four to six minutes to get the heating cores warmed up. And we'll show you the difference between the freight train of the Nimbus and the steady smooth output of the Cumulus. 